everyone, Bango7 Rule here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Epic 7. Today is going to be the Thursday update content. I'm really hyped for this. I hope we get to see what the exclusive equipment is, and I hope we get some more information and some more fun things. Again, as always, this is a reaction style video. This isn't a Mango Gets Everything Right video. This isn't a perfect information video. This is a Mango reads things blind and tries not to screw up while YouTube yells at him video. So that's my favorite thing to do. So let's get into this here. The scroll bar, we always like to check this out because it's so important. The scroll bar is actually really long. I'm going to guess since we're going to be getting a new episode here, that at least half of that is a new episode. So I actually feel like there's enough room to see what these exclusive equipments do. So I'm really excited here. So... Um, ooh, meet the Fire Elemental Thief, Kawana and Covenant Summons. Unexpected there. So let's take a look here. We've got Chapter 5-whatever here. Um, most importantly, what are we going to get from the rewards? Uh, Catalyst Chest, Sky Stones, who cares about that? All the rewards here. Um, Mulagora Seed, that's pretty cool. This is what we wanted to see. Uh, no, we don't want to see this. We want to see what we get. Ah, Attack Boots, what a surprise. I'm in absolute shock that we're going to get attack boots. Wow. Um, super shock. So that's good for new players. I doubt I'll even use these. Like, I can't see myself. The only way I would ever use these, I think, personally, is if every single roll rolled into speed or crit chance. So, um, unfortunate there. We get another pair of attack boots. Ah, uh, exclusive equipment. That is exciting. So, tier stained pad, general Pergus. Health percent is a good choice. I'm happy with that. So Spearhead has a 20% chance to increase the defense of the caster for two turns when attacked. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. That is really helpful to him to survive. His um, increased combat readiness by an additional 3% is pretty cool too. I'm not sure how much that'll help, but that's a lot of combat readiness still if you think about it. Um, that's like three Molagoras worth or something like that. I like that. And decreased skill cooldown by one turn. I don't know why I didn't guess that. As I'm like talking through this, this is exactly what it should have been. Um, so kind of kind of surprised by all of these. I think Command of Charge is probably a really solid one. Um, I'm not really thinking I want the defense buff. I'm not even sure about the combat readiness. I honestly think I'm gonna go with Command of Charge just because every time I use my Purgus, I'm always one turn off being able to use it again. And uh, I think that's what I'm going with. But that said, I'm honestly, like, all of these are decent enough. I'm probably just going to roll one and use whatever one I get. Let's see if Sermia gets her AoE. Uh, so playing with fire has a 25% chance to grant an extra attack. That's pretty similar to what I thought. Um, I thought it was going to hit two people instead of one. So this is another way to get a second attack. Hot Screak grants a barrier to the caster for two turns. Okay, that's that's exceptional too. Um, and all in decreases skill cooldown of hot streak by two turns. Okay, so how does that work? Is that enough to um hot streak all in, hot streak all in, hot streak all in? I'm not sure. Uh, I don't know her cooldown specifically, but that's pretty cool. I do like this. No AoE, so I don't know what's going on with them. Uh, of course, she gets attack percent, which is exactly what she should have been. And Bologna is one I'm really confused about. I feel like she's gonna get effectiveness. Um, yeah, she's going to get effectiveness here. Butterfly Fan dispels one buff from all enemies. That's what I uh, expected from that. Razor Wind Fan um, increases chance of decrease in defense by 20%. Yep, uh, that's exactly what I said too. And her final one is decreases combat readiness of all enemies by 15%. Um, interesting, interesting, interesting. So, uh, I'm not sure what to say about this. This is this makes Butterfly Fan a usable ability, and before it just like wasn't really even usable. But I'm I'm still not sold on this skill set. Uh, Razorwind Fan. I'm I'm interested to see how that will work because you will be able to skill three Fan and then get another Fan in decently quick. But 15% combat readiness when other people are reducing it by 50% plus is just doesn't feel like a thing I'm okay doing. Oh my god, she's adorable! She's so adorable, look at that smile. What does she do? She's got a health imprint. Uh, she solves many problems with her positive attitude and constant hard work. She's half of me, you know? I don't have that constant hard work, but I have a positive attitude, so uh, that's kind of cool. So let's see what she does here. Do we know what she does yet? I don't think we do. I don't think we do. 
Um, so her skill one is called Hey There. That's pretty cool. And it attacks the enemy with sharp sickles. Sharp sickles! Uh, with a 35% chance each to inflict two bleeding effects for two turns. If the enemy is debuffed after the effect, additional damage is inflicted. Uh, so what this does is it'll attack, and if you land debuffs, it'll do another explosion-style damage thing there. Um, kind of like Bologna's uh, artifact, I think, is what it sounds like. And this is also going to go up to 15, 20, 55% effect chance. Um, her casual introduction. I love the names of these, by the way. Attacks all enemies with a flame guardian. Increases the attack of all allies for two turns. When all allies are fire elemental heroes, grants all allies skill nullifier once. I love this. I love this so much. Uh, I I use all fire air units a lot, and I, I think that's fantastic. I'm really going to have a good time with this skill. Really, 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 really enjoy this skill. I wish it had minus one cooldown in the enhancement here, but I guess that means I don't need to Mulligore it, which feels great. Um, one of the problems I find with increased attack is I feel like every fire unit has it. It just seems like it, you know, Hazel's got it, Araminthus got it, um, Sermia's got it, right? Because she gets her own attack buff. Um, Araminthus, did I say Araminthus? So many fire units already have increased attack. Tamarin, um, so it's all, all, almost kind of redundant a lot of times, which is my big problem with attack. An Erupt Welcome attacks the enemy with a Flame Guardian, spending for one turn before dispelling two buffs. Why is it before? Make it after! So, according to this, attacks the enemy, stunning for one turn before dispelling two buffs. So, it's gonna stun, hit immunity, not do anything, and then um, dispel the buffs after. So that feels a little unfortunate. Uh, I, I really wish it was the other way around. And also increases damage dealt when all allies are fire elemental heroes. I really, really, really enjoy thematic stuff like this. And I think in the future, we're going to be really wanting all monocolor teams for things. And I think she's going to be insane for stuff like that. Um, so I'm really excited to use her. I actually am really impressed with her skill set. I don't think she's going to be amazing by any means, but I like her synergy and I like the fun she has. So story log. Oh my god. That's exciting. Uh, that's exciting. I'm going to go through the entire story now and read it all. That's really exciting. So improvements will be made to the description of Yuna's skill. Okay, so that doesn't change anything. That just shows things better. Um, typos, fixes, adventure and side story improvements. Uh, in the previous update, some changes to adventure and side story were omitted from our notice. We'll provide our information. In the future, we will do our best. In Adventure and Side Stories, a change was made so that all heroes will recover 30% of their health after a battle was successfully completed. That's really exciting. I believe that means the same thing for Raid, too, because I noticed I did Raid recently, and after a battle I went to heal, and I was already full. Um, a change was made so that if heroes were defeated in battle, they would recover 10% of their health. A change will be made so that players will have the proper ability to acquire Epic Catalyst if they clear a stage with difficulty of normal or higher. In any of the side stories, that's really good, right? Like this is this is really good. I I'm really happy with that. I I'm really really happy with that. I I think that's a massive change. Um, this is this is super super massive. If I'm reading this right, because there's so many times there's no epic catalyst and it feels so bad. Um, more improvements. Perfect. Improvements will be made so that players can view the name of the Guardian's voice actor. Awesome. Um, improvements will be made. Is easily more distinguishable. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. The requirements for completion. Okay. Okay. After requesting aid and receiving it, the player will receive a system message. Okay. Okay. Cool things. New background music for Guild Wars. That's exciting. The purchase limit for the Moonlight package will be increased. I was going to say, I bet you anything, there are additional improvements. I should have said this. I was thinking it. I, I was going to say, I bet you anything, there are additional improvements. We'll have some hidden packs in it. I was going to say pet packs. But uh, purchase limit increases for Moonlight package is kind of funny. Um, I love how they call that an improvement. Um, will be made so that additional pop-ups are displayed. Okay. 
Equipment tutorial. Oh, I, I guess a lot of people were really screwing up uh, pet stuff. They were feeding their Moonlight pets and stuff like that. So uh, pretty solid change there. Uh, the equipment tutorial will be improved. Okay, bug fixes. Okay, so that's pretty good. I'm I'm definitely okay with this. Um, okay, so that's cool. That's cool. I'm going to hit a big ol' refresh here and see if there's anything else. I'm pretty happy with this patch. Uh, we got a new four star. We got a bunch of cool things. Um, we have to find whatever stupid list their stuff is in. Um, Thursday, 26 minutes. Uh, update info, update info, announcement. Um, so this is update info. This is content. This is chatbot. We would like to take this time to inform our customers about improvements in regards to how we will provide assistance to our customers. Customer service team will implement a chatbot. Our chatbot is available 24-7. <laughs> Interesting. Wow. The number one comment on the chatbot is please buff a Rabi. Just waiting for the buff a ravioli people to show up. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, okay, I'm pretty happy with this patch. I'm pretty impressed with General Pergus's exclusive equipment. I think Sermia's exclusive equipment is fantastic too. I'm not sold on Bologna's yet. I don't think Bologna's does enough, but I might be wrong there. And uh, the new unit seems really fun to use. The changes seem great. And I'm not going to be shocked if I log in tomorrow night and there is a pack trying to sell me Stigma pets and other things like that. I'm I'm just saying I'm not going to be surprised. So thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. Hit that bell notification and I will talk to you all later. Have a wonderful day. Bye everybody.